Fighting on high ping is one of the biggest challenges in Fortnite. Being on high ping puts you at such a disadvantage compared to everyone else. That's why today I'm going to be going over multiple ways to improve your ping and even show you guys how to fight on high ping. If you enjoy this video and want to see more like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also feel free to use the timestamps in the description below. The first method that will help you to lower your ping is using gear up booster. I get around 50 ping in creative when I don't have gear up booster on, but as soon as I turn gear up booster on, I get around 25 ping in creative. basically. Cutting my ping in half. Gear Up Booster is designed to enhance the network environment and does not interfere with in-game data, making sure that you will not get banned while using it. Many professional players use Gear Up Booster like the 6 times FNCS champion Miro and the king of 200 pumps Asian Jeff. When it comes to playing Fortnite, ping issue is always a problem for me. I wish I could live next to the server so I could get zero ping, but I can't, so I use Gear Up Booster to help me perform better in tournaments like FNCS and Duo Cash Cups. Make sure to use the link at the top of my description to get a free trial of Gear Up Booster. And for console players, you guys have nothing to worry about. Gear Up Booster offers a gaming router called the Hyper V which will help you guys to get lower ping. Make sure to let me know how low your ping goes when using Gear Up Booster. I cut my ping in half while using it. Let me know if you could beat that. The next way to lower your ping is by using an ethernet cable. If you don't have an ethernet cable, this is something that you need. Ethernet is the best choice for gaming since it guarantees that players have access to the maximum speed possible. The best ethernet cable to get for gaming is a Cat8 cable. You can easily find them anywhere online. If you're someone who lives really far from the server, upgrading your internet plan to fiber might be a good option. I know this might not be an option for everyone, because if you're like me, fiber isn't supported in my area. You can find fiber in your area by contacting your internet provider. Most pros that don't have the option to move to zero ping have fiber internet because it makes a huge difference. Next, we need to head into the key to fighting on high ping. Patience is the key to fighting on high ping since you'll be in a good state of mind and you'll act calmly in scenarios that you were put in. Playing patiently will allow you to have the advantage in all your fights. Waiting for your opponent to make the mistake will give you the upper hand and lead to you winning more and more fights. If you have a tilted mindset, this will lead you to rush into fights without thinking or cause you to play nervous. Having a tilted mindset will also cause you to make the wrong decisions in the heat of the moment. That's why it's so important to keep a good state of mind and be patient when fighting so you can act calmly in every situation. If you're a high ping player, one thing you need to do is focus on your aim. Having high ping means it's going to be harder to get yourself out of bad situations by using your mechanics. People in zero ping rely on their mechanics to get them out of bad situations since they don't have to worry about lag. But for people on high ping, it's harder to have consistent mechanics. This is why you need to put more focus and effort into your aim. My previous video, I talked about how to improve your aim. So if you're someone who struggles with aiming, make sure to check out that video. If you play on high ping, you need to change your playstyle. Having an over aggressive playstyle while playing on high ping is not going to work. The main reason for this is because you're not on low ping. On low ping, you're able to hop on someone's wall and have a good chance at taking it. But for people that play on high ping, this is one of the worst mistakes we can make. When approaching your opponent on high ping, you need to learn to play your angles. Learning how to take safe peaks and make safe angles is something that is really important and something that you need to learn. The easiest way to learn this is by practicing your angles and peaks in Raider's mechanics map. He has a peak training section that is very useful. You can change the difficulty and keep working your way up until you become really good with your angles and peaks. The next big thing that helped me out a lot was to stop being flashy. The biggest mistake I would make is trying to be flashy with my builds and edits. The reason this was so bad was because having consistent mechanics while trying to overbuild on high ping is nearly impossible. Although playing at a slower and steadier pace makes it harder to hit clips, it's going to win you more fights. Also, if you're trying to make your mechanics more consistent, then playing at a slower and steadier pace will help you to do this. Since fighting on high ping is harder, it can be good to focus on different aspects of Fortnite that don't depend on ping. Something else you could focus on is becoming a smarter player or a smarter IGL. When becoming an IGL, you need to focus on good decision making and adaptability, which is something that is all in your control. Unlike fighting, ping doesn't affect your IGLing capability, so taking time to focus on learning how to rotate and play endgame can be useful. If you guys didn't know, almost 97% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you could hit that subscribe button, it would help me out a ton. If you're looking to practice and improve on everything in Fortnite, then I have the perfect map for you. This map has a whole bunch of different peace control tunnels for you to practice different edits and will help you improve consistency. The map also has different mechanics training scenarios like edit courses and a free build section where you can change speed to help with the consistency in your builds and edits. 
and lastly aim training so you can improve your aim with all the new chapter 5 guns like the ARs, shotguns, and SMGs. I've been doing weekly updates to the map and adding a lot to the map for the past month so make sure to check it out since I've been putting in a lot of effort to make this map the best it could be. The code will be in the description or you could type in Unreal Practice Map into the search bar on Fortnite. In order to get good on high ping you need to practice and adapt. The best thing to do is force yourself to get used to the in-game lag by playing ranked. To make it not as boring, try playing with friends. Just remember to use all the things I talked about earlier in the video. You can even try practicing different high ping fighting techniques and realistics with your friends. You need to learn how to adapt to a defensive playstyle. Focusing on becoming a patient fighter as well as putting more time and effort into your aim will help you improve your fighting skills on high ping. Remember that you need to learn safe angles and peaks to help you win more fights. Next I'm going to be showing you guys some of my clips from ranked. I'm around 40 ping in game so I think my clips will all be good examples. In this first clip I'm fighting for the vault in Reckless and I get some good counter damage off but I can't reset the wall. After he cracked me I needed to back up and make more space so I could heal up. Once he started applying more pressure, I went for another shot. And when he went back to heal, I started pressuring more since I had the medallion. Now here I take a good right hand peek and get some damage off. And then I go back and make a good peanut butter edit. In this next clip, I go for a nice right hand peek and miss the shot, but then I do some good damage on a pre-fire. When he hops in my box, I try taking time to hit a good shot, but I still end up missing. But I keep applying pressure until he impulses out where I get a really good shot on him. Then once again, he makes the same mistake and shock waves in. Now I just try to spray my SMG through the stair until I get the cone and finish off the fight. In both these fights, you guys see the importance of being a patient player and taking safe angles. You guys also see how important it is to be aim training. I did miss some close up shots, but when my opponent impulsed in my box, I was ready to flick and do damage. In this next clip, I do a crash pad play and get some decent damage on my opponent. After I do a decent amount of damage, I can tell my opponent is nervous by the way he's playing. Since he keeps deciding to build up, I decide to drop down and chop the fight. This way it makes it harder to get third party. Immediately I build around myself so I don't get landed on. I get a good shot off here when my opponent tries spraying my wall. At this point I needed to play more aggressive to finish the fight quick. But to be honest, I could have ended the fight without taking any damage if I played a bit slower. I do hope that these fighting examples helped you guys understand how to be patient during fighting. Let me know if you like this and want me to do it more. Let me know if you're going to try any of the ping improvement tips. The link to gear up boosters is in my description for you guys. If this video helped you in any way, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want more videos like this.